What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam. I'm a full-time six-figure eBay and Shopify seller. And what I do on this channel is help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. So make sure you subscribe down below. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering a question that I get every single day, whether it's on my YouTube comments or my Instagram DMs. The question is, Sam, why does my eBay account keep getting suspended? I get this question more than any other question. So what I'm gonna do is try and answer it as best as I can in this video. And I'm also gonna be giving you some points to avoid getting your eBay account suspended in the future. I'm sure that you guys are definitely gonna get value out of this video. So make sure you watch the whole video from start to finish. If you do get any value out of the video, don't forget to press the like button as it really helps out the channel in a big way. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss all the weekly videos I'm gonna to release to help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick story time from when one of my eBay accounts got suspended around two or three years ago. I'm gonna explain that situation and exactly how I dealt with it and what exactly happened during that time. And then I'm gonna be explaining exactly why eBay accounts get suspended. Just to give you guys a full understanding, just so that you can avoid getting your eBay account suspended in 2021. So roughly around three years ago, one of the eBay accounts I was building up at the time, because I was still new to eBay at the time and I wasn't really familiar with the rules and the regulations, I was making a couple mistakes and I was violating some of eBay's policies. And one of the policies that I violated at the time is that I was asking customers to send a direct payment to my PayPal account. But because they wanted to pay a lower amount, they was happy to send the money directly to my PayPal account, which meant that they didn't have to add the eBay fee that I was gonna get charged on top, which means that they could send a lower amount. And because I was so eager on securing the sale, I wasn't really thinking about whether or not I was violating eBay's policies at the time. And due to me doing this over and over again with no issues, finally eBay sent me a message one day saying that, my eBay account is gonna get suspended for seven days. And because I was doing so much revenue at the time and I was depending on that money for my livelihood, it was a big hit to me. Seven days meant that I was losing out roughly on like 8,000, 9,000 pound worth of revenue at the time. So during that time, I did try to call them and try to appeal the decision. Um, I called them maybe like five, six, seven times. I was calling them every single day trying to get them to turn around the decision. And finally, I got through to someone at head office and they just told me straight out that I need to deal with it. It's only seven days that a lot of people get their account permanently suspended. But because this was the only policy that I violated at the time and I proved to them that I was a good eBay seller, they only suspended my account for seven days. The guy on the phone told me that I just needed to deal with it. And then by the end of the seven days, I'm gonna learn not to make that mistake again, which was very true. From that point, I made sure that I read up on eBay's terms and conditions, eBay's selling policy and everything like that so that I didn't make any other mistake because those seven days felt like a lifetime at the time. So I learned a lot from those seven days and trust me, I didn't make any other mistake similar to that ever again. So moving on to exactly what can cause your account to get suspended, I'm just gonna jump into a couple things right now. I've made some notes on my laptop over here. So the main reasons why eBay accounts get suspended is you haven't paid your eBay selling fees. So for example, if you've sold an item on eBay and they've been sending you messages telling you that you need to pay your eBay selling fees and you haven't done so, this could be a cause to your eBay account getting suspended. The next reason is that you haven't paid eBay for a refund that they made to your buyer. So for example, if you sold an item on eBay and eBay had to refund the buyer because the buyer wasn't happy for whatever reason and eBay have been asking you to pay the money back to them and you haven't done so, this is another reason why your account will get suspended. One of the other main reasons why your account gets suspended is that they couldn't verify your personal details. So for example, your name, your address, your email address, all of this needs to be verified as soon as you sign up to eBay. You also need to make sure that you update your payment method. You need to make sure that you've got a payment method set up on your eBay account so that eBay fees can be automatically deducted from your eBay account. This is another reason why eBay may suspend your account if you haven't set up an automatic payment method on your eBay account. And then finally, one of the other reasons why your eBay account might get suspended is that you might be violating some of eBay's selling policies. So I'm just gonna go through some of the things in eBay's selling policies and their rules and regulations when it comes to selling on eBay that everyone needs to be aware of if they do plan on selling on eBay. So when it comes to selling on eBay, there's prohibited items, which means that you can't sell these items under any circumstance. And there's restricted items, which means that you're allowed to sell them if you've got a specific license to sell them. But eBay are gonna closely monitor those listings and you need to provide proof that you're allowed to sell those specific restricted items. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly go through the prohibited items first. All of this is listed on the eBay main page. So I'm gonna link it down below. If you wanna have a look, you can check it out. But I'm just gonna scroll through and give you an idea of what type of products are prohibited. And then I'm gonna move over to the restricted 
items straight after. So in terms of prohibited items that you're not allowed to sell on eBay under any circumstance, that includes adult only products, drugs, firearms, government transit and postal items, hazardous restricted or regulated materials, items encouraging illegal activity, lock picking devices, medicine and healthcare products, offensive material, police related items, prohibited services and stolen property. So when it comes to restricted items that you might be able to sell if you get a license and prove to eBay that you're allowed to sell these products. These include alcohol, animal wildlife products, catalog sales, used clothing, contracts, used cosmetics, credit card, digital delivered goods, event ticket, food, football tickets, gaming machines, human parts and remains, postage meters, property, record items, stock and other securities, tobacco, travel, unlocking software and vouchers. Those are the products that you might be able to sell. I'm surprised that human parts and remains are kind of allowed on eBay, but anyway, but yeah, those are the products that you might be able to sell if you get some sort of license. So this may be another reason why your account is getting restricted because you're not providing eBay with the necessary paperwork to sell these restricted items or you might just be selling any one of these prohibited items. So you need to make sure that you do your research in terms of what items are allowed to be sold and what items you need to provide proof for before you start selling them. So there's various reasons why your account might be getting suspended. I would just say to avoid getting your account suspended, go down to the link below, check out the eBay webpage where it discusses eBay selling policies and everything that you need to be aware of before you start selling on eBay. Because one thing I wanna point out to you guys is that once your account gets suspended, it's gonna be hard for you to open up another account in that same name. So always make sure that you do things right to start off with. And if your account does get suspended, you can always contact eBay, try to appeal, try to speak to someone there, maybe clear up the issue. Maybe all you need to do is pay your previous selling fees from an old eBay account that got banned two years ago and all you just need to do is just pay those fees. Always contact eBay and ask them exactly what the issue is. See if it can be rectified in any way. And then from there, you won't keep making the same mistake because now you'll know exactly what can cause an eBay account to get suspended or banned. From all the people that message me about their eBay account getting suspended on a daily basis, whenever I ask them to send me the product that they were selling, it seems as though a lot of people that start selling on eBay or want to start selling on eBay sell fake products and try to list it as a genuine product. So for example, a lot of people will go to Alibaba and find AirPods that look like the Apple AirPods and try to list it as genuine Apple AirPods. Doing this will automatically get your eBay account suspended because there's a program called the Vero program on eBay. And what that does is that it monitors every single listing on eBay. What's gonna happen is that eBay are gonna contact you and ask you for proof to make sure that the product is a legitimate Apple product or Samsung product or whatever brand name you put. And if you're not able to provide that proof, your eBay account is more than likely gonna get suspended. So these are one of the common reasons that I've seen eBay accounts getting banned is that people are selling fake products and trying to list it as genuine. So make sure that you're not doing this because once your eBay account gets banned, it's gonna be hard for you to open up a second eBay account. Make sure that you do the right things. Make sure that you're reading up on exactly what you need to do to avoid getting it banned. I'm gonna link it down below. And there you go guys, I hope now you have a better understanding of what causes eBay accounts to get banned and you're gonna avoid making these mistakes in 2021 so you can continue to make money on your eBay stores. If you found any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button as it really helps out the channel in a big way. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss all the weekly videos that I'm gonna release to help you make money on either eBay or Shopify. Don't forget to add me on Instagram as well. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video. I'd love to hear from you. If your eBay account got banned for one of these reasons, let me know down below in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Peace. Thank you.